And the first, what we need to do, it's really um, that we have a design point, which is um, which is in the in the range of the of the pump you want to remodel. So that means here I have a flow rate of 210 cubic meters ahead of 10 meters and a rotational speed of 2,900 water. And so this will give us a mixed flow impeller. So, but we don't design it from scratch. We make a reverse engineering. So and this year we have the option in CF Turbo import external component. And besides CF Turbo, Blagen, we can also make reverse engineering. And we have to choose if we want to have an centrifugal axial impeller or a stator. So we choose here the centrifugal pump impeller. And we say import. So then um, CF Turbo the reverse engineering window starts and I can say first load CAD data. And we are here in the mixed flow pump, the original CAD file. So we import this model, as you can see here, yeah. typical mixed flow pump, solid domain. And um, what we, are able to export, was, which was briefly mentioned in the presentation before, is that we are able to import IGES step, parasolid, and BRAP. Um, at a later at a later date, we also work on importing SDL files. Currently, SDL files must be converted to one of the of these uh, neutral CAD formats. So, and at first, we will create a meridional contour. Yeah, on the left side, you see here the imported geometry. On the right side, this is what we create new. And um, so the first what we do is, so we select the hub. Right, so then we see this. Yeah, we are selected and we, sh we should look that it goes from the inlet to the outlet. Yeah, the selected surface, but it don't needs to be the the whole hub surface, right? It can be a segment. So, and then the same, likewise, we work with the shroud. Just check does it goes, touches inlet and outlet and map the shroud. So, and immediately we get a, we get our meridional contour of the pump impeller. So, so, so it will be a shrouded impeller as we see here. And the second step what we go will be importing a reverse engineer the blades. And for this, so we here on the right side, we see the number of blades. So this is six as it's shown on the left side, number of spans. Uh, so we leave it uh, as it is for the moment, the default settings. And then we select the blade surface Suction side, pressure side, leading edge, and trailing edge. And we say map to main blade. And here we only have to check that we have really um, a closed surface of the of the blade. This and the um, the fillets. Uh, so you can read in the fillets, but it's not a must. So that means we do it here without fillets. So you see here. Again, left side, the original data. On the right side, the redesigned geometry, partly. So this is the original data. And now we say number of blades, six, number of spans. So, and then we say um, update design. So and we get, immediately get a proposal about uh, for our reverse engineered impeller. And so it, this is fine for the, let's say for the middle port, for the middle middle spans, but we see some deviations here near hub and shroud, right? So, and this, we, so to get, um, to improve this uh, reshaping, so we can increase the number of spans from five to 11 and say again, 
update design, right? So you see here, we come much closer, much better to the to the original geometry, but there's still improvement possible by adjusting the so-called offset on Hub and Shroud. So offset describes um, which surface will be used uh, in an in a distance, in a relative distance from Hub and Shroud. So and if we increase these numbers slightly from three to six percent, so we can expect that uh, here in this case. Uh, that uh, the surface quality will be will be um, improved again, right? So and now we are really very close to our to our original geometry, and this is also the point. Even if we have some warnings, um, we can leave the the reverse engineering window and say. OK, by clicking OK. So then it comes to the main window of CF Turbo. And we would activate the model and have a look in 3D. So and we see here these impressive, impressive um, overlay picture that you uh, in, in these uh, in these short time that we get these uh, fully parametric model. So and even if we if we would say we um, so we can add here a um, a fillet, if you like, uh, then we would come even we would come impeller, say model, make a model finishing, use a solid trimming, and have let's say a certain fillet radius, let's say 1.5 millimeter. So and then uh, we will see um, in a few seconds that not only the blade itself, but also including and um, a fillet, which this is not a solid domain. So I take the inlet and outlet away. So, so in here we see now solid faces, give them a different color. So we see it's not only the blades and hub and shroud, but also, also the the fillets which are very close to our uh, to our model right so this is the um this was the first example and yeah if I, if i like so and really we have now all the capabilities in which are here on cf turbo in fully parametric modeling uh, from main dimensions uh, over the meridional contour which can be adjusted so we have any any capabilities to start or to redesign from here, or we just use the model uh, for a, for example, for a simulation or for prototyping, right? Blade angles, blade properties, everything can be, can be adjusted here step by step. It's fully parametric, so in the language of CF Turbo. Okay, so and so we just save the model. Yeah, hold it here. Um, this is now. The demo. And we have our, we have uh, finished the reverse engineering of our first model. So, and I close the project.